Hey guys, Oliver here from Smiley React. Here to react to the next episode of Fruits Basket, episode seven. Let's start the Waterman splitting contest. So everyone, Honda, well, when I say everyone, I mean some of the Somers and Honda are at this uh, the Somer vacation house, um, having a good time, uh, collecting uh, beetles and playing in the at the ocean in the ocean. You know, just having a good time. Meanwhile, uh, Adiko and uh, Shuri are planning on interrupting this fun time. Um, also, I just wanted to add um, that in the latest uh, podcast I did with my fellow reactors, we when we discussed uh, what's been going on recently with fruits in Fruits Basket, one of them uh, decided to reveal that apparently it's in the like the PV, the uh, the preview of like the overall season. You know, when a show is before before a show is released, they do a preview of uh, what what's to come essentially. But anyway, apparently in this preview, uh, we do see Attico um, uh, like scratch uh, Honda. So I've been. That's I don't know if that's going. This is probably going to turn out to be a big deal, um, that scratch, um, but yeah, I've been, that's, I've been spoiled a little bit on that, so just be mindful, um, besides that though, I've actually been pre in the clear for the most part, I have, um, stayed away from pretty much every spoiler about this, sh uh, show about, well, this, uh, yeah, the sl show slash manga of, uh, Fruits Basket. So yeah, something tells me the fun times are about to end and the drama is going to come flying back because obviously uh, Shiri, uh, um, sorry, Shiri and uh, Adiko are going to uh, show up probably in this episode. Um, so I'm going to be expecting that uh, scratch to happen soon, maybe this in this episode or in like one of the following episodes. Because in fact, this is only episode seven too, like because this is like twenty five episodes or something like that. So yeah, the water splitting contest, um, episode seven. Uh, let's uh, begin in uh, three. Oh yeah, one second. Uh, also, just in case, because sometimes I do know I need it. I'll put on the top subtitles. Sorry about that. So in three, two, one. Let's go. This is at the beach. So she's shown up. It's said something to Yuki. And that just reveals that that Oh wait, no, I was going to say that was Honda then, that with the hat, but seems to be a different haired girl, so, hmm, mind you, I guess Honda's hair colour could have changed since uh, childhood, but she's got the same type of hat. Anyway, what I wanted to get at is that Attico has, uh, has already shown up at the beach, so, and she's whispered something into, uh, Yuki's ear, or at least something that we're not privy to yet. The other thing we discussed in the uh, podcast is OPs. The others think that the OP for the OPs for season one were maybe a bit better than this one, but I actually think I like this over the OPs from the season one. I don't know. Actually, now I think about it. I just really like this beat though. All right, let's see where this goes and how painful it may get.
What was that about? Oh. Um, how do you mistake those two things? How do you use a mistake cold from pre a cold for being pregnant? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Uh, yeah. What do you mean by that, though? Because, uh... in fact, everyone else is just there. <laughs> uh, I saw Yuki's face just then. Oh, okay, so, because every, yeah, I was just about to say all the Zodiac Spirits have been born, so, supposedly, I guess, all other children born will be normal children, so that no more, um, parents going insane. I'm sure we're going to find out at some point what Yuki's parents are like and everyone else's. Title drop. <laughs> yeah, because the sheet will solve all the problems of it splitting. Uh, damn! Of course he would do something like that, though. Yeah, your way is correct. See, they're, what, they were thinking that Tori was just going to, you know, with her hand? <laughs> Dumb shoe. <true. laughs> no, it's just that uh, he was just being an idiot. Now you're overthinking it, Toro. <laughs> yeah. <It's... laughs> it's not my baby. Uh, that. Probably both. <laughs> Guess this guy do it too. <laughs> I think that's a common myth, actually. And passed out. 
Honda's is not there though. Oh, she's got a blanket for them. Cute. Hmm. Saying he again. Okay. Yeah, it's not a healthy relationship, that's for sure, when it comes to Aiko. And yet all the other Sormas seem to accept it, so... <laughs> yeah, that's what Honda's worried about. <laughs> oh, this should be good. I think, yeah, we knew about that. Oh! Wait. Wait. No, it can't be. Is, is Ko's mother Ho Honda's mother? Hang on. <laughs> oh dear. Mom destroyed dad. Oh. He's smiling a little bit. Hmm, that was a massive clue I think I was just given. Of course, I can't be certain of it, but it would explain quite a bit. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's playing dumb. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, it's the other... The, uh, yeah. Curio. Curio. Because Attico is here. Yeah. This guy's... Yeah, this guy's seen straight through him. Do you want to bet? Yeah, you definitely want something. Yeah. 
Yep, here we go. In order to fight. So you want them to fight. Yuki's already found into them. That's probably a wise decision. Yeah, that's because there's a lot of bad blood between them. Yeah, that, yeah. So you want, so Shigure wants them to fight. Yeah, exactly. And Shigure put her up to this one. So, <laughs> I have to protect that smile. Pancakes. <laughs> Pancakes it is then. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Oh, that's right. Attica also did something to her as well. Yeah, well, he doesn't seem to like anyone. Hmm. Okay. Whoops. Mm-hmm. It's unnecessary. Yeah. Hmm. Sure you have. Sure. Mm-hmm. 
I really want to hit her, him. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are these two now going to talk? Uh huh. Yes, he is. Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> A schema that's probably going to backfire at some point. So, pretty much, hmm, turn everyone against Attico. And then what? Attico is probably going to lash out at them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you do. Besides, I was in April, okay. Yeah, but Yuki isn't back yet. He has, but he's disappeared. Oh. I did see images from this part of the episode. Things meaning Attico, yes. Or Aiko. Aiko. I'm going... I think it's Aiko. He already has. That's the thing. Oh, shooting star. That's beautiful, actually. That's some great animation on the shooting stars. Mm, opening your feelings up is always difficult. There we go. Is he actually saying that out loud or is that in his head? All right, that explains it. I was, it was Honda. Oh yeah, he's not saying that out loud. Oh, 
Oh, he did say it out loud. I love the shooting stars. Seriously, that's some great animation. To at, you won't lose to Attico. No, oh, that that's honestly really adorable. Damn. Yeah, I have a feeling next episode, Attico and Honda are going to meet again. And it's not going to be pretty at all. Um, definitely not going to be pretty at all. And that's when... And I'm assuming Shigure will be there as well. Um, and that's probably also when I this uh, uh, slap or scratch happens. Um, I'm hoping it's the slap, but we'll soon see. Uh, pretty sure it's going to be a scratch, though. Um, really good episode. Um, it wasn't as dark as I thought it was going to be because, you know, Attico I was, or Aiko... I apologize. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. Um, Attico? Mm. Because when Attico shows up, like, it's always going to be problematic. Um, but I think I'm starting to understand Shigure's motivation now, what his overall plan is, is to be. He's the meddler. He's the schemer. So he's trying to um, make, like, say, Yuki... Um, fight back essentially and actually stand up to uh, Aiko. Uh, I don't know what his plans with Honda are yet, though, with Toru. Um, but yeah, that slight reveal um, with, uh, with Ko, that, if it's what I'm thinking, what I brought up in the episode briefly, if it's indeed that Ko's mother, because he said his mother like died in an accident, but he cut himself off before he finished that sentence. So it does kind of make me think that could Ko's mother, as I've brought up, be the same mother as Toru. Because if that's the case, that's a big reveal right there. That is an, a really, that's a really, really big reveal. Um, but I don't want to jump to conclusions with that just yet because it hasn't actually been revealed that that's the case. Um, but that is what I'm thinking now. But it's still doesn't explain the idea that Ko killed Toru's mum. But it, in a, also in that way though, if that's the case, he also killed his mum as well, but was it really an accident? Um, we'll probably get more on that later on, maybe later on this season. If not this season, then in the final season, which I'm pretty sure, or as I brought up with season one, like it's season one was 25 or 24 episodes. Season two is 24 episodes. And season three should be about 13 episodes, I think, 12 or 13 episodes. So, yeah, um, I am very curious about, about a lot of things now. Like there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but yeah... 
what's really from this episode, what really got me was got to me was the um that reveal with Co. Um, that's going to be. I need to find out more about that. So I'm hoping that comes up again at some point. Really loved that ending though. With um, so the other thing that was answered this episode was that that was indeed Yuki and uh, Honda when they were younger because she got lost and he essentially got her to she sorry he helped her get home and gave him uh, getting my pronouns mixed up I apologize uh, Yuki gave Honda his hat and she's had it to this day so that's explains how he recognized the hat but I, I don't know if Honda actually did remember that or not um mind you I don't know if he actually said that part out loud or if that was just you know him thinking in his head I think he did say it to her though but I'm not 100% sure but it looks like Yuki uh, sorry not Yuki uh Eiko is going to be sticking around some more and that's I'm really expecting, at the very least, next episode, uh, which I believe is, according to this, is called, it's well, it's true, um, that next episode, Aiko is definitely going to run or meet Honda again, uh, it's Toru, and that's when things are going to get messy, and yeah, um, I think that's all I can really say at the moment. Uh, yeah, so let me know your thoughts of this episode in the comments section below, and I will see you soon for some more reactions, guys. Have a good day as always.